Basically right now we're doing internal corrosion and that's we're studying different things that happen inside the pipeline, different uh, so you can get bacteria, you can get buildups of metal and whatnot inside there. And it's pretty intense because I mean our mistakes could cost somebody else their life so you have to be sound in what you're doing and pay attention and, and look for anything out of the ordinary pretty much is the biggest thing. We expect this program to be one of the key programs for the college over the next several years and, and on into the future. And we really want us to be established as the place to go. I would say it's probably becoming more and more important. I mean, as, as uh, industry's gone on and gone on, people seem to tend to grasp the value of long-term, one-time uh, purchasing than, than uh, purchasing the same thing over and over and over again because it wears out. So if you can do what you can to keep it there, and not have to do as much maintenance on it then, then of course it's going to save you a lot of time and money and energy and probably lives and, and product loss too. If you look at it as a pipeline, it's a million dollars a mile for a pipeline, so if you just let it corrode away within a few years, I mean, that can be pretty expensive. What we found by working with industry is most of the people in the corrosion industry have moved up from within the industry. And one of the issues that's facing in a lot of industries across the country is a, a looming retirement. You know, the baby boomers are retiring. And so a lot of the corrosion engineers are actually nearing retirement in the next two to seven years. There's going to be massive, expected massive retirements. Uh, so the, the folks we work with industry are saying, we have no one trained to move into those fields. So they've just been pulling people from other jobs and placing them in as corrosion engineers or corrosion techs. And uh, as a result, with an aging infrastructure as well, um, th the need for trained technicians out there is becoming more and more prevalent. Uh, I love the program as far as I got to do an uh, internship with DCP this summer, and I learned a lot there, you know, kind of reinforced everything that I had already learned in class as far as, as far as what to look for in corrosion, how to analyze things, how to use the equipment, that we learned a lot of that last year. So getting to do the internship over the summer gave me a chance to, to process that information, see how it goes to the field and, and what it does, you know, and, and how it's actually laid out and what you do day to day, operations such as that. The associate degree program is offered at only one other school in the nation. This is actually the second year of the program. The students can leave with a certificate if they choose, and we did have a couple of students that finished this the certificate last year and went right to work. Uh, this year our class of, I think there's 10 that will graduate this May. So far I've loved every minute of it. It's outside, it's something different all the time, you know, so if you're looking for those types of things and you like a challenge, I would say it's, it's for you.